Hello tribe, welcome back to my channel. So this is the second part of Candy's introspective hypnosis session. She was one of my clients who has decided to share parts of her session with community saying this would probably help other people, which I'm really, really grateful for. Would it help you understand what hypnosis session is about specifically introspective because I find a lot of more soulful um, elements to this type of work. And maybe for some people, this is going to open your eyes to what might have influenced you to feel a certain way. Today we are talking about what it is that she brought to the session. I have a file with me that made her feel uneasy whilst being around her mom. And I'm gonna quote her what she said. In the interview stage, she said, I feel like I don't want to be in the same room with my mom. And I don't know why, but I feel uneasy whilst being around my mom. She also said during the interview, I felt like I had to be a support system for my mom. And that's something that also comes up during the session. She realizes why she felt that she had to be a support system for her mom. That is very closely connected to one of the emotions that she had in her chest. So I hope this introspective hypnosis session is going to be helpful, useful, or maybe insightful for some of you. In addition, I'd like to say for anyone who might be feeling weird during watching anyone else being entranced or any emotion come up, this happens for some people. There might be some kind of resonance um, during what was said or maybe how the client is feeling during the trance and some of your own emotions might be coming to the surface to be healed. So do not freak out in case that happens. I have seen it happen a couple of times already and I hope this is going to be helpful. Bye for now. Now I'm going to be counting from three to one in a moment. And I want you to search for the memory in this life, the last memory that you have that made you feel somehow uneasy around your mom. Three, two, traveling in time and space. And one, you're there now. If you knew approximately, how old do you feel? Four. Four. Very good. And as you four, if you knew what is happening around you? I see my mom shaking. You see your mom shaking. And as you see your mom shaking, are you aware of what is happening to her? No. And as she's shaking, move a little bit forward and tell me what happens next. My dad tries to help her. Mm-hmm. And is he successful, do you feel? Yes. Very good. And as you feel and you see your mom shaking, I want you to check in your body and tell me as you see this, how does your body feel? Is there any tightness anywhere? Um, my throat and chest. Your throat and your chest, very good. And when your throat and your chest feels heavy, tense, what is the emotion that's coming up? I think I want to help. You want to help? But I can't do anything. Yes. As you want to help and you can't do anything, do you feel like you store all of that in your throat and chest or anywhere else? On my throat. Now let's move a little bit forward as your dad helps your mom. Do you say something to your mom? Does she say something to you when she gets better? I ask. 
asked her if she's okay. And she said she's okay. Very good. And do you tell her how you feel in that moment that you felt the stress and you felt throat and chest being tense? No, I don't tell her. I don't want her to worry. You don't want her to worry. Why is it you don't want her to worry? You are a child. Don't you think your mom cares about you in that moment for you to speak to her and to tell her how you feel? She has enough already. She had enough already, okay. And why do you think that? Is it because of her past experiences? Anything in particular that she had to deal with? With her pregnancy with me. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you have any guilt connected to that? Yes. Checking your body. Tell me, where do you feel that guilt is stored? On my chest. Mm -hmm. And my throat. Okay. Now in that moment, I want you to imagine your mom, soul to soul, you and her, Look into her eyes, the eyes of a soul. And I want you to fully express yourself and tell me what you just said to me here. I want you to speak up and speak loud and start with expressing your feelings that you felt scared in that moment and you felt this feeling in your throat and chest when she was shaking. Tell her. That I was really, I didn't want anything bad to happen to her. Mm -hmm. If I could, I'd do anything to help her. Yes. Look into her eyes and what is it that you think she says back to you? She says she knows, but that, I'm, that I'll have to wait, that she's okay. Very good. I want you to talk to her about the guilt that you have regarding her pregnancy with you. Ask her. Does she feel bad? Does she have any bad feelings stored? Or anything against you because she had a bad pregnancy or difficult pregnancy with you? Look into her eyes what she says. She just says it wasn't my fault. Exactly. She, she wanted me. She wanted you. Of course she did. And you know that she raised a beautiful daughter who was like a pillar for mom to lean on. So why is it that you would feel guilty about the pregnancy? You were a miracle in her life. Do you feel like you are ready to pull that emotion from your throat and chest because it doesn't belong to you. I'm ready. You're ready. Feeling that strength that you have given her, getting rid of that feeling of guilt, tension in your throat and chest. If you knew, what color would you want to give it? Blue. 
Let's give it that blue color and let's start pulling. You can use your hands if you want to. I'm going to be helping you together. Doing so, let's start pulling all of that that you store there that doesn't belong there. And you can either throw it to the center of the earth or send it to cosmos to deal with. None of this belongs to you anymore. Pulling it all out. Keep on doing it. Good job. Feel it in your chest. Feel it in your throat. Leave in that energy. None of this belongs to you. None of it was supposed to be there in the first place. And whenever you feel like you've pulled it all out, let me know. Allow your body to feel everything it needs to feel. Stop. Very good. Now, instead of this, what is it that you would like to put there? Anytime you're around your mom or you get closer to your mom, you will not feel uneasy anymore because you released all of that energy. Do you feel like the energy that you felt around your mom, not, be, not wanting to be in the same room, was created? by that guilt that you felt? Or is there something else? It was the guilt. It was the guilt. Okay, so instead of that, since it's all gone now, any time you'll talk to your mom, what feeling would you like to put in your chest, in your throat? Happiness and love. Happiness and love, very good. I want you to give it a color of your liking, a vibration. What color does it have? Red and pink. Red and pink, beautiful. Let's start taking that energy, see it come from above. Overflow in your chest and your throat. Making you feel happy. Loved and loving. And whenever you're done fulfilling that area, I want you to take it through your whole body. From top of your head all the way down to your feet. And whenever you're done, let me know. I'm done. Very good. Now I want you to come back to that time when you're four years. I want you to see your young self, a beautiful little girl. And I want your older, wiser version of yourself meet your younger version. Imagine that little girl in front of you. What advice would you have for her in that moment? That she's not alone. She's not alone. Very good. Is there anything else you would like to tell, tell her? She can be whatever she wants to be. Exactly. Very good. 
I want you to give a hug to that child, to your younger self. And with that hug, feeling warmth, love, happiness. Given all the energy that little girl needs in that moment. And tell her that she can tend for help and she can ask for help any time she needs. She's never alone. She always has support. And from now on, she'll be able to get that support in her surroundings by talking about what she feels, how she feels. and taking the energy from others that she, throughout time, has given to them. And she doesn't have to do it all on her own. And she has people who care for her dearly. And that she doesn't need to be a main support system for everyone she'll be taking care of herself much more whilst taking care of others. But from now on, the balance will be perfect. In a moment, I'll ask you to do one thing. I'll ask you to imagine traveling to the future of candies. You can travel a year, five, however many years you want to your future. And I want you to imagine being in the same room with your mom and bringing all this energy of love and peace you have gained here today. Bringing that confidence and strength with you to that moment. I want you to see you and your mom in the same room. You are full of strength. Tell me, how are you feeling being with your mom in the same room in the future? Very happy. Laughing. Laughing. I want you to enjoy that moment together. And I want you to imagine your bond strengthening by being open to one another, knowing that you have infinite amount of love and feel it in your whole core. And any time you're going to connect your mom, that's the exact emotion you'll feel, love and happiness and laughter. Very good. We touched on your relationship with mom that affected your throat and chest. Um, very interesting realizations came through. You have remembered the part that you maybe have not remembered in your conscious mind, that pregnancy part where you felt guilt, that you know it was hard for her and she wanted you very much and how much you really gave her throughout life. So we released that. Now I do incorporate tarot together with introspective hypnosis. I'm just gonna read these statements for you, okay? So the first one is acceptance card. It says, everyone deserves my love. And it says, I open my heart, which we worked on, to heal and release. I open myself to the peace of divine love and grace, which you did beautifully. Then expansion card says, I love myself. It's all connected to self-love, you see. Your tender heart is in need of care. Know that your body is here to help you experience a miraculous life. Embrace it. And the cinnamon card came out, which is the intimacy card, and it says it can only get better. Allow yourself to experience more joy and love. Raise your resonance by swimming in the sweetness of love. And you are swimming in the ocean too, the sweetness of your own love. <laughs> 
So these tie in very beautifully and you know the color that you chose as well was green color which is giving you peace you know and that grounding. So maybe these are the colors that you would like to work with or you would like to imagine anytime you feel a certain way. Um, checking your body this is for like in, in the long run, right? Not now. Whenever you feel like you need a self checkup. Um, close your eyes. Ask yourself, what is my body lacking? What can I give you in order to make this feel better? This is almost like self analysis. And you can just keep throughout life checking in on yourself, what you need, and give that to yourself. But overall, a really great session. I'm so happy that you allowed yourself to completely let go. Thank you, Regina. It feels like it's been a lot today, so far. You've done a lot of work. I'm really happy. <laughs> yes. I'm very excited to keep working on myself, you know, keep evolving. Um, yeah, I'll continue to do that, and I'll keep you posted. And